Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kalpana Suresh, Medical Director and Chief Ophthalmic Surgeon from Kalpana Ekar Hospital, Chennai speaking. A 20-year-old college student walked into a hospital with defective vision in both eyes for 3 months. He used to rub his eyes often it seems. He was found to have high minus power combined with cylindrical power. Detailed examination showed a thin and bulged out cornea. Your cornea is a clear dome shaped window in front of your eye. It focuses light in your eye. Keratoconus is when the cornea thins out and bulges like a cone. Changing the shape of the cornea brings light rays out of focus. As a result, your vision is blurry and distorted, making daily tasks like reading or driving very difficult. At first, the bulge may be mild, but as the condition can get worse over time. It normally affects both eyes. The exact cause is not known. There are certain risk factors which include a family history of keratoconus, rubbing your eyes often, conditions like retinitis pigmentosa, Down syndrome, hay fever, allergy and asthma. Symptoms include blurry vision, more sensitivity to light and glare, frequent change in the spectacle power and sudden cloudy vision. One sign of the disease is bulging of the cornea. This bulge causes nearsightedness that is short sightedness and astigmatism that is cylindrical power. In more serious cases it can cause swelling and scarring of the eye tissue. Keratoconus affects about 1 in every 2000 Indians. It's more common in teenagers and young adults in their mid-teens and 20s. Keratoconus can be diagnosed through a routine eye examination. If suspected, a detailed corneal scan may be required to find out the exact thinning and curvature changes. In the early stages, vision can be corrected with spectacles. In the late stages, a variety of specially designed contact lenses can be used, which include rose scale lenses, piggyback, mini scleral, scleral or an individually fitted hard contact lenses. Finding a comfortable lens can be difficult, but it's important that the lens fits well. Another option is corneal collagen cross-linking, also called as C3R or CXL. This strengthens the cornea and halts the bulging. In this procedure, the outer layer of the cornea called the epithelium is removed to allow entry of riboflavin, a type of B vitamin into the cornea, which then is activated with UV light. It works by increasing the strength of the cornea. This may not fix the existing bulge, but it can stop it from getting worse. Intax is another solution. These are small curved devices that are surgically implanted within the cornea. They help in flattening the curvature of the cornea and hence improving the vision. In advanced stages, only viable treatment option is corneal transplantation procedure. Important point to remember, do not rub your eyes with keratoconus, try to avoid rubbing your eyes. This can damage the thin corneal tissue and makes you, make your symptoms worse. If you have itchy eyes that cause you to rub, speak to your ophthalmologist about medicines to control your allergies. Let's see what happened to the patient. We confirmed the diagnosis of keratoconus by corneal scan. He underwent C3R procedure in both eyes to prevent progression. He was prescribed glasses and was advised to avoid eye rubbing. Hope this information on keratoconus is useful to you all. If you have any queries, please post them in the comment box. I would be happy to answer. To watch more educative videos like this, kindly subscribe to Kalpana Eye Care YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a great day.